Rabbi Brant Rosen, uh, welcome to Fort Wayne and welcome to Indiana Center for Middle East Peace. Thanks for having me. This is your third trip to Fort Wayne, Brant. Uh, um, your first time was in May 2014. Uh, so we know your story, but for the folks who don't know it, say a little bit uh, about your radicalization. Uh, uh, the title of your book is Wrestling in the Daylight, A Rabbi's Path to Palestine Solidarity. Tell us the backstory of, of the title of your book. Sure. Well, it's a long story, but to, to make a long story short, uh, I uh, became a congregational rabbi in 1992. Uh, I grew up in a liberal Jewish home, and Zionism was very much a part, uh, liberal Zionism, I would say, uh, was very much a part of my own Jewish identity and upbringing. And I identified with Israel as an important part of my, my own Judaism. I lived in Israel for a time and was a strong proponent of peace with the Palestinians. Um, but over the course of my life, and particularly uh, after I became a congregational rabbi, I really started to struggle with some of the basic assumptions of Zionism. Uh, not just criticizing Israel and the Israeli government for its policies, but really fundamental issues of what does it mean to uh, propose an ethnically Jewish state that's predicated on a majority of one, the identity of one group of people in one land that has historically been multi-ethnic, multi-religious. Uh, isn't, isn't that an inherently problematic uh, ethnocentric approach to creating statehood? Um, I struggled with the militarization of, of uh, the intense militarization of that country. Uh, I've always been very anti-war uh, my entire life and yet seemed to give, always give Israel a pass when it came to Israel's militarization. Um, when I would propose uh, peace with the Palestinians, the main argument that I and many liberal Zionists would make is that, that the birth rate of, of Arabs in Palestine were presenting a so-called demographic threat yeah. to the Jewishness of the state. And every once in a while I'd hear myself making that argument and think, demographic threat, you know, how could I use a term like that? I would never use a term like that as an American. And yet, um, the inherent racism of this idea that predicating the identity of a state on one group of people became very problematic for me. And I really saw as an essential injustice that the state was, was created on the backs of another people who were exiled uh, and dispossessed and turned into a largely refugee population. And I found it very difficult to square with that. Uh, and um, as Israel's oppression, uh, not just seeing this as a conflict, but really as Israel's oppression became more clear to me, I finally moved from a Zionist position and broke fairly publicly um, with my Zionism and stood in solidarity with Palestinians. And as a Jew, I, I came to believe that if my Judaism is predicated on standing against oppression, then I couldn't give anyone a pass, even my own people, uh, as painful as that was. And so um, the book that you referred to, uh, Wrestling in the Daylight, was really an, a, a compilation of blog posts that I made uh, that sort of charted my evolution on this issue. And, and also comments that were made by congregants of mine uh, and just others, people I, I didn't really know, but just we had an ongoing conversation uh, during this journey that I made uh, that I found to be very important and difficult. And you know, it was a wrestling, certainly, but um, when it was when the dust settled a little bit, and I read back this conversation that we had, it felt to me that there, this was an important document. That um, I felt that if I could shine a light on my own struggle on this issue as a Jew and as a rabbi, that it might possibly be helpful for other people, whether they were Jewish or not.